Man, what's going on? Howdy folks, how are you today? Back to the old pretty estate. Oh, it's your boy. Rocking out the sweater from back in the day. And uh, look what we've got here. The beautiful Marla. Last time I was rocking the sweater, I was trying to dig this thing out of a freaking dirt hole in Arkansas. But we got it here. And uh, JP wants the shifter cables changed. So uh, I got a little bit of help. They come all the way from Savannah. Garrett G Money Hodges decided he was going to come over because he wanted to see me and hang out with James and do some work. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the shifter cables. Obviously, there he is right now, Mr. 18 wheels rolling up in uh, Marla. And what we're going to do probably first is pull the seat here. We got four. Oh man, we got four rusty and crusty bolts, maybe three because I don't know if I can even feel that one. It might have been just roached out and broke off in there, but we at least got three we need to get out. And then we are going to remove this right here and we'll go from there. That'll come off. This will come off so we can get to that shifter area and those cables, you know, cause you can see them right there, right there like so, hooked up for that stuff. And then right back here's the old transmission thing. And to be honest with you, since this is a big bunk, not like Frank when I did the last time, we may not even have to jack the cab up because i honestly in g money's my size but he's a little bit taller we could climb in there monkey around enough to where we could get in there and probably just pull that those cables and stuff and hook them up without even having to jack this thing up but i'm sure we will so that's uh what we're going to be doing today on the show on the chat thing and youtube's channel All right, we've got, um, getting ready to pull this seat out here. We've got, uh, he's got that. We've got the half inch up here. These are just half inch. So I'm going to hold this while he gets down there. Go to the front one. Front left. All right, go ahead. See if you can torque weight on it. You might need a bigger side. Is it two? Is it not because of the bolt? Yeah. Okay. We need the deep sockets? No, I just, uh. No, it's a half inch. It's not what the goal in there. Might be a little it's the bolt. It's the fact that it's it's not deep enough. We need a deep, the deep sockets. Deep sockets. Yeah. Okay, so uh, on the back of Muddy, there's a bolt. Here comes Paul back right back now, mine. He's back. coming to tell him. Put this back underneath this house. Get that bolt stack. It's on the back tire or on the piston, I think. Man, I wish the sun would start doing its job. Yeah. We, um, when we put this back together, this. See how this is too long and it gets in the door? Yeah. Um, take this seatbelt reeler off uh -huh. so that I can glue this up so it stays right where it's supposed to be. What if we just took this broken chunk and off? just let the thing hang? I think we could. Yeah. I don't, I don't know that, if we can get that out, cut it though. Off. Cut it off. Oh, oh down the side? Yeah. yeah, right on. Then, that, then you're not going to have that flop. Yeah, that's what I'm going to put the door out. Right on. Yeah, take this whole, take this whole. Well, we're gonna take the whole seat out. Oh yeah. Nice. And we're just gonna plop it on the ground over here. Mm -hmm. yeah, it'll be all right. We'll, we'll take care of it once we get it out. Is that better? Yep. All right. I'm going back to see ya. Clean it. Cut this a good looking truck. 
It's freaking amazing. I love this truck. Besides the motor, I don't care about the motor. Oh, dude, the motor sounds great, though. Oh, she's okay, like hold on. Huh? She's like that. Make sure you're going the right way. Yes. Is it doing it or not? No. We need big chachi. Is it stripping it? No, it's just a hey, switch box. Get your eyes on it. No. I think we're stripping the top. That's all right. Just keep holding it. All right. Damn. Did it come off? Yeah. 10-4. Yep, sure did. All right. What about the back left? Hold on. All right, hold on. I'm getting there, too. All right, I'm ready when you are. The back left? Back left. Hold on, let me grab her again. All right. Gosh, dang. There's a little wrench, so I don't like this. <laughs> Go ahead. Bleh. I know. Keeps down breaking, breaking loose. Lee, I need some gloves, dude. That hurts. Like All right, just, just let's just stop here because I want to get something and clean up those um, clean up those. That's beating the hell out of me. Clean up those um, those bolts. That way, we're not sitting there killing ourselves. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we'll be back, folks. We got to do a little prep work here, and then uh, we'll get them. We're just gonna get something and diz 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 clean them up real quick. That way, they'll spin off a little bit easier. You know what I mean? Stargate, Captain's Vlog. Currently it is, let's see, what do we got going on here? 9.30, my birthday. Yeah, that's my actual birthday. So anytime I think of the time 9.30, I think, ah, oh, that's my birthday. Anywho, uh, grabbed one of them things, buzz, buzz, cleaned it up down there. Oh, G Money up here got him some gloves because that, um, that top bolt was tearing his hand up when it would go again and get stuck down the bottom but it should be able to go under and they should just pull down so i'm gonna slide back under there real quick after i take a drink my beer obviously and then uh we're gonna do it to it and he's gonna try the the wrench and if that doesn't work we got a couple sets of different vice grips that he's just gonna latch in on that thing and i'm just gonna buzz them down real quick so we'll see what does taste like huh? like shit like piss you got it, folks. First time trying trying Miller Lite. Woo! Piss. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, 12? <laughs> 21, not the way around. Anyway, this right here should be. That a horse piss, boys. <laughs> Four horsemen with the horse piss. <laughs> Don should be here in Which a little while. Which one are you? On the back? Back left. And I'm ready to rock. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on. Is it? No, it's fucking. I had it. It's spinning inside the bicycle. No, well, use that wrench. You, you got the gloves. That's true. Ready? Uh, yeah. Oh, nope. That fucking kicked it right off. Watch <laughs> out. <laughs> you fuck. Let me switch with you again. No, I got it. Man, no. Look, use this in, bro. Yeah. It's 
see how you fucking hold that. Yeah, it's spinning like hell. Still? Yeah. That's good. Not bad, but it's spinning like hell. What if I can get these on there? See, the, the bolt head should have been a long one. It's so fucking thin. So thin you can't get a hold All on it. Alright, you pull you do this guy down here. I can do that down there. I'm switching on there. Ugh. Ouch. Right. What what's happened is this is rusted into the floor. Go for it. Alright, stop. Hold on. Alright. needs to be here. No rush, no rush, please. All right, go ahead and try it. Hold on, hold on. Go for it. No, hold on. No, this fucking... This it needs a, a bigger head sticking out of it. Well, it, the problem <laughs> with this is that he smoothed off the tip. Yeah. So you can't necessarily try it. No, hold on. Damn motherfucker, folks. No, that's right. Go for it. Nope. Alright, try it. No, nope. motherfucker. Push up on it real quick. Alright. Here you go, hold it up. Go for it. No, it's just kicking it off. Yeah. We'll be back, folks. We're having a Technical mental breakdown here. Technical difficulties with some BS bolts. Might have to cut them off. I doubt it, but if we have to, we will. Yeah, so I'm about to cut these bolts up. I might have to unhook the air from the seat. Yeah, definitely. We will in a minute. But that'll come when the time comes. In a minute. When we when we cross that bridge. That's right. That's the term we're gonna use for usage. Now if I was at home, I would do this and I would have one of those masks on. I do have the hat on, so I should be alright. Luckily, it's a set forward action, too. If that means a setback movie. Now I have plenty of room to fuck around in here. And a setback, you think? Versus. Yeah. Ready? Ready, go. That sounded affirmative. Ah! She's smoking, folks. The boat on the ground was smoking. 
What'd you make that noise for? You okay? What's that? You went, oh! <laughs> I went, ah! Because uh. I didn't kill myself. I have all my limbs still, and um, the job is completed successfully. So that's what's up. We had to cut them off. She's gotta, loose now. That's right. We gotta unhook those uh, air, and then we'll be able to pull the seat out. But then I'll oh, get your eyes in here real quick on some other things we gotta do because we um. I'm sorry that wasn't a very good angle, folks. Maybe got to see little sparks fly down there and my feet, but it's just what it is. Uh, we gotta get this right here. There's this little cotter pin that's holding this. We're gonna unhook this. We'll be able to do this right here because we'll leave all this hooked up. We just wanna unhook this real quick. And then we'll, um, I'll have him slide back here and unhook the airline. So when we um, get ready to pull the seat, we'll bring you back. All right, we're back. So um, just went in there and got some needle nose and gab them with JP a little bit. Hold on, Junior. Get What's this up? undone first. I'm coming back. Here. <laughs> Might take you that. There's a speaker in here. Yeah, they used it. I think when they were um, they were uh, I guess maybe you didn't need it. Here, pull it out. Now unhook those. I'm get your eyes up in here so you're not just staring at me because I know you're probably bored and tired of just staring at me. That should just peel apart, lift it up to where it's on the top. You see how it's um take your take your needle nose and stick in between the two and, and spread them apart. See how it's going now? I'm talking about up here. Up here at the top. I don't know, in between the two. What the hell, man? There's no room. That's unique. That's unique and different. There we go, there we go. Hold on. No, what the fuck? It's all right, folks, if we have a little bit of curse words on my channel. We don't mind curse words. That's weird, dude. What the fuck? Hey, Jess. Yeah. Uh, you heard Garrett need these boxes before I burn them? Negative. Garrett? What is it? Just boxes? Do you need any boxes before no. I burn them? Fucking card bard. Nope. Dude, what is happening? Does that it should just peel right apart, dude. There's no way in hell that should be that difficult, right? There's no way that should be that difficult. Uncle Chad might have to show me some what to do. Yo, look who was right here this whole time, dude. Are you kidding me? I'm fucking so serious. And nice gloves. Yeah, I seen those gloves. Sorry, buddy. Oh, you're right. Uh, brake pedal. Wire. Fucking, we could have used that too, goddamn. Yeah, look at that. We could have just got up under there and cleaned the stuff. There's one on this side, too. I just got a cotter pin on this one, too. So Is there one over there, too, holding it? Yep. Well, we're about to just take these fucking things off the top because I'm really getting tired of messing with this thing. Right, so right here, right? Just unbolt it from the whole thing itself? Yeah, right there. Uh, too big? Yeah. Oh, don't be making a mess there. Like, all right. That's that one. It's three quarter, ain't it? It's 19 and three quarter. Yes? Yeah, so too big, too big. 11 sixteenths then, hold on. It don't matter if it's a little too big, it just needs to be able to hold it. Okay, go for it. Now that's too big on that side. There it is. Right there. Oh, I got it, hold on. I don't, we're tired of messing with this cotter pin up there. So we're just gonna take these off and flop them down. Don't really matter. He wants us to cut this plastic piece off right here anyways because he don't like how it's jamming on the door. I'm sure you heard that in the earlier conversation. Just want to take the time and liberty to say excuse me for belching. Um, right in the camera. Right in the camera's ear. Okay, put that bolt and stuff back on. Is there a washer too? A washer, that's what I was looking for. All right, I'm gonna ramrod this cotter pin back in this little thing real quick. 
Oh, the, the washer's still on the thing. That way, that way we don't lose anything. That's right. Let me just say piss on it. Okay, the other side needs the same thing. 11 sixteenths right here. Go with that outside bolt and just break that free and then you should just be able to twist her off. Of course there's shit in the way on this damn side. Yep. That's how she goes. That's how she goes, folks. Garrett G. Money Hodges. Eight, Mr. 18 wheels rolling. I ain't got no 18 wheels rolling at the moment. Doing the thing. Doing the dance. Something's not right. We're going to show this kid the ropes, folks. I need it. I really do. I've never, I'll admit, I haven't turned many wrenches in my life, so I need this part. Yeah. In, in trucking, I need this. Well, when I first met Garrett, folks, it was a few years back. It was right after Frank's accident. He was messaging me on Instagram about a truck, and he started showing me that blue truck that he's got that I went and peeled the windshield seals about. Started messaging me about that, and I just told him, dude, it's going to take a lot to get it back fixed because of the issues and stuff like that. And it's, you know, some of those things you just can't find. And then he was always talking about, man, I wish I could come and work with you guys. Blah 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 blah. He kept on saying that, and I was like, you know what? The first time I came down here in September, I said, dude, I'm coming over there. Why don't you come so you can work with us and we can show you some things? So that's exactly what happened, and that's when the four horsemen came together for the first time with me, James, Garrett, and Don which Don will be here in a little bit, McCord. And uh, we started, now we're basically having like a reunion bash. I love it, it's Full awesome. horsemen getting back together. And we've got an extra add-on. Uh, James has hired hand Johnny's here working on uh, 12 right now, getting ready to do some stuff. So we'll go over there and we'll see if we um, he wants to talk to you guys. If not, then I guess you'll just know of an imaginary figure. He seems a little shy, so I'm gonna doubt if he doesn't wanna be on the YouTube. Yeah, that's all right, though. That's fine, because no. nobody wants to be on the internet, really. Oh, well, not at the beginning. Yeah. Everybody's, that's how I am. I'm everybody's still a sketched awkward. at the beginning. I'm still a little awkward. All right, well, I'm going to let him do this. Once we get the seat out, finally, we'll come back, and we'll get down to some of the nitty-gritty, and we'll talk about what's going to happen. Whoa, whoa, don't blow that shit in my face. What's wrong with you, cuz? <laughs> back, back up, back up, cuz. <laughs> you, back, you back up? Where you at? Oh yeah, can you see this boat? Yeah, she's coming free now, folks. As Chad said, we're in the Marleman. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna come out of there. Oh, you grab, you got the camera? I do. Right on, okay, climb on down. Hold me. Climb on down, go, stud. <sighs> oh, now, I want you to sit in the seat. Uh, you need to jack up the, um, the front, the back right there, the backrest, because you're gonna want it pointed forward. See, you're breaking her free right now on the carpet, so that's good by the way you're wobbling around. Yeah, I guess that'll work. Get down. Don't get too ahead of yourself. Oh, no. Turn her forward. You don't want to catch anything and break anything. You know what I'm saying? Like that, whatnot. Climb, work your body right in there. Right in there, grab the base. Walk it on out. Bada bling, bada boom. Oh man, that's bad. That's original 85. Oh, oh man, that's bad. Get your eyes on this. Get your eyes on that, folks. Yeah, that's from the carpet and all moisture and stuff like that. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go grab a shop vac. We're gonna get uh, pops out, pops out here so he can get uh, his eyes on this stuff real quick. And then we are uh, gonna clean all this stuff up because that is actually that base. And we're gonna talk to him about what we want to do. Cause get down here. Shoot the bottom of this. Look at that shit. No good. Folks. Look at that damn shit. Yeah, but how much room is in this fucking truck? Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. It is crazy. I think she's about to die, dude. I'll kill it then. Oh, that base was shot, folks. And most of that uh, was sitting down here and here. So I pulled him over and I showed him. And um, 
We're just basically dumping the trash can while he's peeling the stuff up. He said there's a truck down the road at a shop that um, is wrecked and they're going to trash that has like brand new leather seats in with bases and stuff. So he's going to call them up. Yeah. We may run down there later on this afternoon or something. And then Marla, Marla men will have two brand new seats in them. I said that earlier about Marla. Yeah. He yeah. likes to make fun of me. Occasionally I slur my words when I have too many. I was about to say you had a few brewskis too many. about five months ago. <laughs> it, was, it was 90 degrees and they were just going down smooth because it was, you know, <laughs> noon 30 in the morning and we were sweating and I was hot and the next thing you know it just kind of slipped out. And everybody wanted to laugh and make fun of me. It was great. Like I was some kind of jackwad. So that's what it is. Yeah. It should be good. I'll kick on your back in here. So g Money's up in here taking some of the screws out and stuff. You remember where the ones go that you're taking out? Yes. Okay. Yep. I should have put a more... Uh... That's okay, they can stay right there. He's got three up on that uh, cigarette ashtray lighter section that he's gotta pull out. One more, and then there's two in the floor that are kinda eight out. Usually there's four that go there, but um, there's only two on this one, so he's gonna get that out, he's gonna pull that, he's gonna unhook that, uh, that 12 volt lighter there. This bolt is super stripped, boss. Well, it, you're gonna, you might need to take your flat head behind the the panel there and pull push and try to yeah just like that but then keep this on there and while you're undoing the screw it'll give it some pressure for it to pull out is it coming any a little bit i'll just ease it out hold on let me go get something from the garage <laughs> oh no i'll keep this i'll take it with me i'm gonna go get this little buzz, buzz that he should be able to use that way he's not sitting there trying to crank and pry at the same time but if i can find it about to blow it up there it is this is what i want right here that way it's a nice and slow one. Here you go. Look at that. You just put the handle up or down for where, whichever way you want it to go. Give it hell. Well, anyways, I'll, we'll be back, folks, when I, uh, after I climb up in there maybe and get this off. All right, folks, we got all of the um, bolts and everything broke through. We had to drill a couple out and make some stuff magic work. And then this one up here, I just drilled the head off of, and then we'll get that um, off later because it might be something in back that's causing some issues but we have this out right now so basically you need to lift and slide and pull this back because of the way it was keep on going back for now don't worry about that we're using improvision well i would i would normally pull that off too that washer thing that way it's not in the way there you go just be easy we're in high range but you there you go all right now just go ahead and chuck her in the back Oh, whoa, whoa. whoa, look at that, Nelly. Oh, he's got a winter front back here. Nelly. Yeah. This, um, that's a good thing we didn't put the vacuum up. We'll go, we'll go get him so he can see this. Look at that old school Blistex. Leave that stuff in there. He needs to see that, man. Right, Blistex is so good. Blistex works. Look at this grill. That's brand new. No, nope. right here, too. Okay, so this is what well, this is why I wanted to do this with Garrett because Garrett has old blue sitting at you know the one we took the windshield seals out and stuff sitting in savannah now james wants this section 
for Crystal because if he's going to have that big ass motor in there, he's going to need to set it up like this with cables because the rod linkage ain't going to fit around that big ass motor, okay? So what Garrett's going to need to do is unhook these heim joints right here from this region or there's a bolt right here that he can unscrew. Okay, now this whole section right here is screwed in because this, this plate is holding this right here. There's one, two, three, four, looks like five screws. So that's all he's gonna have to do. And this whole thing's gonna be able to come out and all he's gonna have to do is undo these heim joints right here. Okay, that's all he's gonna have to do. And that's basically what we're gonna have to do once we get ready to switch the cables. But I'm gonna get James over here because I want him to get his eye on some of this goodies and dig for treasure before we do it. Or at least I want him to see the stuff all of, the stuff down here because that's all still down here from when you know something was living in here when we was over in arkansas doing all that magic work to be able to get this puppy back on the road so show them folks how this it's a beauty yeah this is how a um a cable stuff works forward back side to side jump in now we staying alive all right that's good all right so we'll be back it's a busy intersection right over there. Trucks coming from, uh, because that's a state route. Um, trucks coming down there, locking them up, er, hitting their jakes all time, all day long, right there. And at night, 2.30 in the morning, that's all you hear is people launching from down there around that corner. Blam, blam, blam. Last night sounded like freaking race car or something. Um, I'm glad you lubricated the Cell phone transmission. Something. Oh, you're not even waiting until I get up here to record before you start taking the stuff off. Hey, I'm ready to work. I just showed him, I just showed him and told him and gave him the explanation of what to do, what not to do. And here he is uh, taking them off already without me even being in here. Super easy. Was I right? Yeah. With the size? Yeah. Cool. So basically he's got those two down there he's taken off first. Then we'll be able to um, just leave the bolts in there or the, the nuts in there. And then we'll take those bolts off and we'll pull that little plate off. And then we'll basically, we'll undo these and then we'll basically tap those out with a hammer. And then once we get, you know, we can pull those down then, but we'll probably go to the back and, and take the back off the top and then we will unhook those ones. And then once we have everything undone, we'll be able to pull them down in, in and out or whatever. I think I cut mine in the green truck because I didn't want to do all the BS of wiggling, wobbling and stuff. And then we'll get into the good crap of actually pulling them down there. So here, take this real quick and get a photo shoot of the actual stuff. <laughs> no, not me, what's going on down there? Yeah, luckily he lubricated these before we took a Minor Remember how break. to turn it off? I gotta, I gotta step out and call my wife real quick. Turn it for. Yeah, don't waste all the battery, man. Yeah. You got so, Uncle Chad lubricated these pretty good, so they came off with no issue, Lube. which is awesome. Yep. Yeah, you can just tell them what you're gonna do and kill it. That's right. So basically, like we were explaining, we gotta take this off. Break these loose, get them out of there, pull them through the floor. Got a brand new set sitting back there. We're gonna probably get the cab up and install them. That's all we got for now, folks. On the cab over, Chad Keegan, spectacular. Using them in provisions and improvising. <laughs> all right, see you later. Oh, you didn't even have it recorded, dude. No. All right, folks, so what happened was I climbed up in here and broke these free because he couldn't get them out just by pulling them. And, and I, you know, we got a hammer out. We tried to beat on them a little bit, but then we got them to plop out. And these fit right in this groove here, so that's really nice. Sometimes they fill with grime and stuff like that, so this is all good, though. We got these out and all that stuff. So these are ready to go. Now we're going to climb around to the back, and um, we're going to... We're gonna go in from there. We're gonna try not to um, jack the cab up if we don't have to, but we are gonna need some, we're gonna need a couple wrenches here because I'm almost positive it's three eighths that's gonna be on there. So we'll take this with us and then we'll come back as needed. Yeah, and uh, James said 
we need to try to wiggle this this out of here real carefully because it's pushing out on the front end don't worry it'll be fine yeah but he just wants us to be actually careful so we don't damage this pretty front end on this truck and those cables run as you can see all the way to the back and while we're here here's this brand new set we were talking about they look really pretty yeah they're nice really pretty oh yeah Oh, here's the deck plate on this baby. There used to be one on here, and that's where all the stuff went. And how about what is that on the back? You just climbed in there like that, dude. I couldn't yeah. get in mine like at all yesterday. Okay, this needs to be bigger. Go get me the next size up. All right. Actually, yeah, go give me the next size up. Oh. Buddy. Sorry to step on the tanks, but I got to. I'm gonna take two just in case. Fuel cap, step on the fuel cap. Brung two just in case. Too big. Too big. Too big. Nine sixteenths. What was that? I need a. Give me the half inch, dude. Here, give me the camera so you're not running around with it a bunch. Oh my god. Because you're not paying attention and you're you're jerking these people all over the place. So what's I need to get these right here off. He's gonna get me the right tools because I one I brought was too too small and I'm trying not to get a bunch of oil and stuff on me, but it's happening. Hook you right here real quick, folks. See how your angle is. That's not bad. Nope. What? What did I have? Uh, Three eighths. I was fucking Bring that whole kit. Nine sixteenths. Bring that whole kit. I, I want that whole kit full. I should have brought my beer down here too while I was I was over there. We grab my beer. Here, just slide the. I'm coming. I'm coming. There's the beer. Okay, we'll down, what do you got? You got thing. the whole thing? That's right. Yeah, this is what I do. This is why I carry one of these because I just put this whole thing in here with me like this. I like how that cover should just flat. And then I'll sit here. That's because it's Frank's old one. Mine's this truck cool. didn't have this truck. It's not chrome. It's polished. It's aluminum. Oh. It's cast aluminum. That's why it's that silver. Go. Seven sixteenths. That's what it is. Okay, I'm gonna need another seven sixteenths for on the bottom. Yeah. Probably. Alright. But except I want it in a socket. I want a socket with a wrench. And seventeen. So that's on the other side. And we're gonna just put these back while we're while we're at it because we wanna have these in here. And this is like what I was telling him, I like to travel with this kind of stuff because then I can just move it around like this, you know. Chrome, Pittsburgh. 19. This guy's putting these other side back over here where they don't belong and stuff. And now we're missing a spot for right here. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's this is what you need right there, folks. Just this kind of stuff right here. That way, is something smaller? There it is. Yeah, it's turning it, so I need something. This exhaust is right here, obviously, as you can see, so it's hard to get in here, but if he, he gets me the right stuff, I should be okay, which I might run in there and grab something. So let me let me get this taken off, and then I'll, I'll, bring, I'll get back with you here. All right, minute. folks, this is where we're at right here. Um, got this all off. I got, there's little U-bolts that go in the back, and I got one off, but I don't got the other one off. So I put some lube down in there. I'm going to let it sit for a while. So I'm going to try and take these ones off right here because we got brand new ones on the other ones. And if, if for some odd reason I cannot get this one to come off, these hind joints are still good. Um, but for some odd reason, I can't get this guy right here to, to break free because I tried and I couldn't get it to break free. 
Uh, then I sprayed some lube on it and I'm gonna let it sit. I will take this heim joint off and I'll just screw that, uh, that new one right in, that new cable and stuff right in there when I get to it. But this one's coming off, but I can't get that U-bolt out of the back there because it's uh, seized in there, which stinks. So I put some lube on it and I'm gonna let it sit. And I got a little baby hammer that I'm going to, a little ball peen that I'm gonna smack around with it but i'm going to also get this out right here and i'm going to try and work it out and pry it some but i'm just going to be real gentle with this because these shifter housings right here are obsolete you cannot get them uh, i was fortunate when i got frank's it was a new old stock that somebody had sitting around that just happened to post it on uh, the k100e group and i was the very first one to reply so he you know sold it to me um and, and there was a number of other people that were really highly interested in that, you know, because you, like I said, you can't get them. I called probably every junkyard in Northwest Ohio, Michigan, um, LKQs, you name it. They looked everywhere and none of them had them. And when I called up the manufacturer, they said, we can't sell this to you, but here's our distributor, blah, blah, blah. So I, I was dealing with a gentleman from this, Minnesota or Wisconsin or somewhere over there and he was trying to instead of just getting me this housing like I was asking he was trying to get me the whole setup and, and he wanted me to measure every single thing and I'm like dude whatever's in the picture of your brochure packet that you got over in Australia or wherever else is what I need so that one's free so let's see if we can get the other one but he just couldn't grasp that concept I really don't want to strip this thing out I don't, I don't, I don't want to, I think I'm going to if I keep on doing that. So I'm just going to tap around on it. May need to get a torch and heat it up um, and see if that'll help because, you know, obviously this ain't doing what I need it to do with the lube and I just kind of torqued on her pretty good and nothing was coming. So we'll yeah, see. We'll see. Show? Yeah, this one right here is, and I That's don't want to. I don't want to strip it out because I'm, I'm. I can feel it starting to strip some when I'm. Yeah. When I'm pulling too much, and I don't necessarily want that to happen. So. Yeah, that'd be a fucking nightmare. I'm gonna have to probably get the torch on it, but. And you're gonna find the torch. Or you not necessarily. Just hang out. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try and get this guy to come out the back, and then I'm gonna end up climbing out. So. I got you. We'll see what happens here. I'm gonna give it a little tap, tap, real quick, and see if anything's gonna flop out yeah and, and this exhaust is right in a freaking way too which sucks so i'll uh i'll be back once i figure out a solution folks hopefully i just get it because you know sometimes i don't want to sit here and record this because this could take an hour or so but i'll let you know what we end up doing and how we got it out well folks after um about 35 45 minutes of, uh, i heated them up i beat it on there's a bunch of grime and shit in there i finally got that thing to break free um this i i got a longer wrench and i got that to break free so that's fine now garrett's on the other side which i'll climb out in a minute and um he is trying to get out there's those little rubber things that hold the the cables in that's what he's working on so i'm gonna get out and i gotta climb do some things i actually gotta climb out of here first because i'm in here these i gotta i gotta go see what he's doing i gotta take a drink of my beer and then um we'll be pulling these cables one is super super stiff but then this one isn't too bad so once this truck has new cables and stuff it's going to be a completely different shifting truck and i just don't think uh jp understands how nice this is going to be once it'll, we get that so super sweet i'm thinking just it'll be it. super sweet just like frank all right so while we were off camera and away we um you're going to climb back up under there and i'm basically going to maneuver these uh the ones from down here and we're going to work them together okay so the ones that are i said i wanted on the battery box are the ones that are going to go out we're going to take those ones right there and we're going to fish them that way i'm just going to be up in the front that way i can control them around those wires and stuff and i'm going to be basically on my back where i was at but then 
those ones are just these ones are just going to come back straight like that and then i'll be up there working those ones so then once we get those out we'll be able to get the new ones and basically fish them through the same way yeah and um uh, might... while i was under there hold on let's talk about something real quick Get... While I was under there and I was doing that stuff and I was getting those ones broke free, they said, let's jack up the cab, let's jack up the cab. I said, no, we're not jacking up the cab because we got so much stuff in here that we'd have to take probably an hour to clean all this stuff up. He's got screws everywhere from that panel and whatnot. I said, we're not jacking the cab up. We can do it with it down. Now, any other time, if you were doing this by yourself, you'd know where all your stuff is and you'd be able to put it at a certain spot. But since there's so much crap in here, you know, I just didn't want to because all that dash and stuff like that is there's things torn apart that we didn't do. So we just said, we'll leave it down, we'll get it done. And that's why we're doing it down. So we're gonna get under here and fish these out and then um, hopefully we'll have her, we'll be throwing some new ones in here pretty soon and we'll be shifting smooth, so. I'll probably put you on a time lapse maybe because this could be monkeying around or maybe you won't see this at all. I don't know. But anybody that's done this knows that it's not easy because we got them too. They're button, they're button right here. So I'm going to basically be under here holding these one at a time. See where that one's cracked? Right yeah. there, folks. Right there, which once we get them out, we'll show you the damage and stuff like that. But I'm going to be under here holding these, making sure they're going to the right spot while he's jerking and tugging, if you know what I mean. They're not too tight right so. there? You think they'll come loose? No, I already pulled them out. See that plastic thing right there? Gotcha. On the ground while I was laying down here. He he almost threw this at my forehead. I almost took that right in the mouth. I tried not But to I didn't. I, I, I moved real quick. I went bam and right out the way. And it went, ah, ah, ah. I also threw that. This guy, man, he's trying to kill me. I also me, remember man. I threw that for an object that looks like a. Oh, dildo? Remember yeah. when he threw that dildo at me? Yeah, me too. <laughs> Good buddies, what he says. All right, so we got him out. Um, I had him take the hind joint tip off here because those were gonna get hung up in this region when we were pulling it through because you basically gotta snake that through up in there and over in there. So we have none. And um, once we got them out, James come over and he was pushing them in and they were super stiff and there was a kink in one he's seen and you know, breaks in other spots. And then you come over to these ones and you can just easily pull them like this and that's how they should be and that's why everybody who has one of these cable shift trucks has problems after a while especially when they sit because this plastic and stuff starts to break off and whatnot and these are all magnetized so when that's broken and all that grime and shit's building up and these are kinked up it's super hard so we're probably i'm probably gonna have garrett pop one of these off that way we don't have to worry about it we can shove it through the front and we can fish it through the way we need to without having to worry about this catching anywhere um i'm almost positive i did when i did mine i can't remember it was a long time ago and uh, i'm definitely not going to go back through and watch the movie we're trying to start that truck mine and damn battery's probably dead i've been messing around over our, our diesel fuel on the floor stuff and it's just what it is but uh yeah man just another day in the life of I'm gonna go hook you up and plug you on a charger because that's what needs to be done. And then um, you got diesel all over you? All over me, I'm going to the bucket. Go over to the wash bucket. There's some uh, Dawn over there. I don't know where the rags went. Where'd the towels go? Oh, yeah. Danger, acid. acid. There it is. So yesterday I filled this wash bucket water up because they got the hose all turned off and stuff for reasons of freezing and whatnot. So then I got this ball, Dawn. And I figured let's just have a wash bucket out here that way if I need to wash off grease and things like that. It's nice and cold in there. It is that. freezing cold. <laughs> so we just wash our hands and body off and then we got towels over to clean oh, up that with. Was so fucking sick. Sorry. <laughs> that all went right in. Kids. Me. Kids in their potty mouths these days. <laughs> Until next time, we will see you. Man, we back. We had plug in, we got 70 75% or something like that. Me and Garrett have managed to pull those old ones out, as you've seen before I plugged you in. We got the new ones ran. We got, um, you done? No, I want to, that looks straight or, or does it look a little off? I just want to keep going. Just want to make sure now. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. If, if it was stripping, I wouldn't have kept on going and putting it through. It's the angle of what the situation is. Don't move the shifter. Don't do anything like that. I told you put those plates on first. Screw yeah. those plates in. This one? No, no, down, down, down. Those. Oh. 
Yeah, that way they don't plop out while you're trying to do that. It ain't no big thing, but a chick wink, so it's fine. Did you tighten up the bottom bolts yet or not? Or are you just cranking those ones I in? I was getting these ones. Okay, one no in. worries. Anywho, this is where we're at. We got the top ones ran. We've got them up in here. And then we have to do the back ones. And then we'll need to basically zip tie or, you know, because there was a bunch of zip ties hooking them up. And uh, we'll just need to do that before we do the final push for those back there, which is they're just sitting right there ain't no ain't no big deal but i need to go check a bushing kit real quick to see if there is what do you need oh shit <coughs> try that one three eighths Seven sixteenths. It should be up in there somewhere because it ain't down here, buddy. Try to keep everything, you know, in its spot where it needs to go when you're done with it. That way, you don't lose a, stuff. I know there's a wrench in the back of the cab where the down too much. Wow, well, you okay with everything? Yeah. Well, I just, you know what it is. I know what it is. You know what it is. All right, work them over. Give me one at a time. All right, um, so this is where we're at, folks. I'm under the spot where I was at before. He is under over there. We're working these cables back one at a time. All right, that. Actually, I need the other one. I gotta give you the other one first. Oh shit. What? Go, go up and um. One goes forward and back, and the other one goes side to side. That's right. Okay. Well, this one absolutely needs to go first. This one's on the end. This one's the inside. But I need to know yeah, which you, one. I got, you, I got you. I'm just. Which one does God what? This is the most inconvenient place to get in and out of every time. Because this one goes forward and back. This one goes side to side. Side to side. Actually, this one goes back and forth, and this one goes side to side. Okay. So we're gonna wrench this over here like this. I'm gonna try and... It's gonna have to go over some more. What? Well, I don't know why I was trying to get James' attention with that little fucking... I think this looks better. Oh, come on. Pop off! These are kind of tight. <laughs> Where are you at? No more. What's your opinion on that? That's much better. Well, don't worry about that right now, Gary. I need um, you to get under this truck and shove these wires up, these cables over, because they need to go up and over there. under that shock. You motherfuckers gonna quit I can't get like the that. stuff where I need get it to be. Get under there and you help Uncle Chad. You're over there jerking around. Well, we were trying to do it. He's bragging to Papa how he got that thing looking nice. I didn't do that. He did that. Oh. I'm trying to make sure it's okay. He's bragging about Listen, look, the, where the shock is, they need to go up and over that shock. Right there. Turn around. Right there. Yes. Thank you. All right. Now we need to get this over here. And I look, I should have put him under these cables. There we go. I should have put him under these cables too. What? What you think? Those are just, those are fine. Okay. Okay. Those are just like, um, solenoid and extra fuel line and shit like that that we had to do when we were in Arkansas. <laughs> I said that earlier. All right, so just chill out. I got you. I'm just fucking I'm talking. Hook these God, up. Damn it. I'm gonna try and screw these in real quick and tap these down with this cheap Chinese stuff. What old Paul would say, using the cheap Chinese stuff when I got those two thousand dollar wrenches in there from snap on and you know that kind of stuff yeah oh yeah that's nice and since i brought that bushing kit i don't have to worry about using those old u-joints 
I can use some brand new ones, but that's a, that's in a good enough. I'm gonna just tack these down real quick here because I don't want this necessarily going anywhere on me, if you know what I mean, folks. And though those are good. And then what I'll do is I'm gonna have to tap that down some. Can you give me that ball peen? Oh, you know what? I probably need to mash this in all the way before it'll just smash down. So I'll wait a second, but I might need that just to smash her down some. Then once we get this done, we are hooked up and uh, we yeah, should be good. Well, yeah, we we still have to put the cover back on. We got to figure out what's going on with the seats because you guys seen the seats. Those were like um, Zwiz G's. He just got a case of uh, crystal little sliders and uh, fries for all of us. And we just ate that garbage. And... Now I'm ready for that. Yeah. Yep. Ooh, my beer's cold. <laughs> Okay, that should be a little bit better, but I still can't feel that coming through on the other side, so I'm gonna need to pound it down probably. Did you grab that ball peen yet? Where the hell is it at? Thought I put it somewhere back there. Blam, blam, blam. Those kids are wailing on that four wheeler again, man. Let me see if I can find it. I thought it was in there. G Money's getting his exercise, folks. He's climbing up and sliding down and everywhere else and stuff like that in the between. Me. Huh? <laughs> Here you go. Ride your Thank you. Oh, yeah. All that, right. That socket would have a pop on the hill. Oh, there's an FLD going for the food ball. tap down okay now I can feel these so I'm gonna just screw these in by hand and then I will uh you know get the rush wrench on them and stuff and crank them down and just get them started I could feel a bunch of crust and stuff popping out of there so but I I brought the bushing kit just in case we needed to rebuild any of this which this is still really really nice um because this is a southern truck and there's no absolutely no salt anywhere on this truck so this is one good thing about this being a southern truck this isn't ate all out at all the only thing that might be um anything on this is that cover that i brought down from frank because it was the original cover when i um had it on my truck and then i brought it down from marla because i had bought the new thing you know so i didn't need it and i was like i knew this truck didn't have one because i had seen in some pictures it was missing so i just thought i'd do the liberty thing and you know bring it down that way he had it crank down on this one and then i'm gonna i'm gonna yell at them and have them go up there i'm going to push on this thing with my hand tell them look how smooth this is because the old is coming through. Because it is extremely smooth. These are locked. These are locked, not so. I don't necessarily need to crank down on that too much. Oh, boy, that's looking tight right there. Um, give me that other cable. Never mind. I got it. Yep. Sure. Yeah, I just got to get it to the right spot. I need the right spot, baby. You know, you know she likes it when you put it in the right spot. Yeah, right? easy. I'm still on camera here, bud. Look behind you. Say what's up. Oh, you're on camera too, ain't you? <laughs> ain't you? So we're talking that smack. Until next time, we will see. So we're talking that shit, man. He's over here talking that damn shit. <laughs> that boy's over here talking that damn shit. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this other I'm right behind you bolt in here. That way it's at least in and it can hold that down and then I will plop this guy right up here, get it to where it needs to be, and the heim joint. Now this one was never, oh yeah, it just pulled right down like that, no problem because this was never. That other one was loose in the first place. Now I got it down good enough. And 
he should be able to do it and then we can rock those cables back and forth however we need to get them because we still got to zip tie them and put them where they need to be and yeah but and make sure the front isn't jagging anything up like he was worried about the old one sitting there jagging that stuff up on the front and that's just how they all are um i had the cat one for frank they were the same way broken and sticking out the front and just oh they looked horrible so crank 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 let's go over the other side crank 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 He's going to go interrupt his YouTube video. Folks, while we're making a YouTube video, he's making a YouTube video. A bunch of different YouTube videos going on at once. Okay. Oh. All right. Container hauling. Way up here. What are you doing? Container hauling. Let's see if I can. Sorry if I'm in your way, folks. I just got to get this to the right spot I need it to be in. Start getting her worked in there. Right there, it feels like it's good. Where? Them red and blue up there. All those wires? Yeah. They don't. Oddly enough, they don't. I know that's I, I don't know, dude. We ran with them all the way home like that because we had that fuel pump hooked up, that power fuel pump hooked that up to this truck pump? because he didn't like the way it idled and stuff, and everything was wonky and. He's freaking out about shit, so yeah, that was an adventure. And if you have never seen that, if you're new on the channel and you've never seen that, go back and watch those when we went to Arkansas and we pulled these truck uh, from sitting in someone's yard that had been drug out of the woods and stuff like that. And he made a deal on it and he bought it and I drove 12 hours over there just to help him out. And, it was supposed to be like 60 degrees and sunny instead it was like 30 and 20 mile per hour wind and we were all dying and yeah, it was a mess man truck. oh yeah we would have to go and stand in front of the truck just to be able to warm up because that was the only wind break we had when we were doing the tires and brakes and everything else and i ended up wearing one of those painter suits and that's the only thing that saved me and kept me warm and we went to walmart after the first night and we i bought like a 12 dollar clearance freaking coat and i mean it was rough me him and roger did what we needed to do and uh we got her done you got her hooked up a little bit yeah go go up in there and jack it around if you want to i'll go and jack it around Is that a little bit better? All right, okay, that's good. Just leave her neutral. So that's that, folks. Basically, all I need to do now is throw that cap on and, um, you know, button everything else up. We'll need to go on the other side, like I said. We've got uh, wire, those cables over there. I wanna, I wanna sex those up a little bit and just try to get them out the way so they're not uh, up against anything that's gonna get hot like that exhaust manifold since we've actually got them run and stuff. And then uh, we'll make sure that there's no issues with them being on the front bumper. Yeah, I'm still over here. Go ahead and get in that truck since you're uh, not shooting your own video no more. It's a world of difference, bro. Well, James Pretty is climbing in his truck and he's going to tell us what he thinks. That's it for the grand? Yeah. Oh. Sweet, man. Absolutely is. 
That's the way it should have been when we picked it up. Wouldn't that have been nice? Wow. Right? Well, there would, yeah, we wouldn't have had as much frustration and stuff, yeah. and it would have been a lot nicer, but at the same time, it's uh, what it is. So what do you think? Yeah, it's pretty nice. It's like a brand new truck. <laughs> it's, it's completely different. Yep. And it's once we figure out whatever we're going to do with the seats and stuff like that, and we can actually put everything back together to where we can run it, mm -hmm. it'll be, you're going to be like, wow, this it's is a, super interesting it's seeing gonna, you drive this on a pickle bucket. It's going to be completely different. It's, yeah, you're going to be like, this is a brand new truck. Yep. I love it. I don't ever want to sell it to anybody for $60,000 who, because I got guys bugging me all the time trying to buy my truck. Right buy my shit so my shit. that's what's up folks right on brother it's nice super nice super nice it's not a super 10 it's a super, super nice <laughs> it's a whole different ballgame man what is up folks look who come hey. don mccord <laughs> guess what we got going on we got the four horsemen in the house well, today because the kid went to doing it <laughs> we are doing it oh yeah you got awesome. Papa, yeah, Uncle Chad, what's he, what's he call you? Big Brother Don. Big Brother Don. Yeah, yeah. That's what I say. Papa. Baby face. Papa. G Money Hodges. Hey, you know, it's rude that I gotta be Papa because Chad's almost my age. No, you're not Paul Paul, you're just Paul. Oh. You're just okay. Paul. I don't know why the, where the other Paul came in at. Hey, just Paul. Well, I got I'm you. This is what, what you want to show us. This right here, buddy. Yeah, we got a. We got a, oh, we yeah, got a broken bar. Alright. Yeah, get your, uh, that broken water down right? there, folks. What is that? I don't know. Don. Huh. Completely fucked up. Don. Yeah. Look at that little exposed ass electrical connector drips. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> folks, we got the four horsemen <laughs> in the house. Uh, we're finishing this up here. Figure out what we're going to do with the seat. We might run this thing down the road. I don't know. If we do, we'll come back and show you. But we're going to have a, our little powwow and reunion and hang out. So, what it is. Oh, man. You sm oh, you smell like diesel, bro. Bad. You fucking reek, dude. Get a little big ass. Get a little throttle there. No, it's it's stuck in between gears. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, don't laugh. Oh, no. See, it's in between gears. Yeah, this transmission needs to fucking go. Is there anybody behind us? Nobody? Got him. Well, we. I don't think I ever opened it. You didn't open it, did you? Is it open, open? Yeah. Let, stop it. Let me close it. Well, I think I'll can go into the shop over here. Skip it over to fifth if you can. Jesus Christ, Well, it's fun while it lasted. I can hear it grinding. It's just sitting there running, running free. Yeah. There it goes. Is that Sterling? Sterling Knight? Now. There ain't nothing in there to flop out. There it is again, jumped out. I can't understand this motherfucker. Transmission really must be toast. Transmission. Oh no, we might have a we might have a hose pinched or crossed. Yeah. Turn it off. Just turn it off. 